Hey, Anna here from Just Mad, and this is the second video of our four part series on remote design sprints. If you haven't seen the first video, click on the link on the screen and go watch it now. I'll wait. In this video, we're gonna cover six amazing tools to assist you in running design sprints remotely. These have been bulletproofed by us and we use them every time in our own sprints. Let's see what they are. Today, we have a lot of options in terms of tools, but in this video, we're mentioning the ones we've tested out and the ones that we use on a regular basis. Obviously, the list is much broader and sometimes there can be constraints around security or adoption, so these tools might not apply to every single company. But we've put together a list of alternatives for each tool mentioned in this video, and you can find the list in the description below. First on our list is Miro. In a normal sprint room, you have a board, you use sticky notes, and you have a timer and use voting dots. When going remote, you can easily replicate that by using Miro, our favorite online collaboration tool. It allows everyone to work together in the same shared virtual space. We use Miro for running the actual design sprint session. It has an infinite canvas and all the features you need to run a design sprint remotely. You have sticky notes, there's a voting and a timer feature, among many others. After running dozens of remote design sprints, we've created our very own exclusive template, which is available in this video's description or in the Miro templates library. Feel free to use it in your upcoming design sprints. Number two, Notion. We use Notion for almost everything, even outside a design sprint. From task tracking to documenting projects and notes, it's super flexible. We love connecting and embedding Notion notes directly into Miro boards for quick access. It is an amazing tool to keep track of your progress and it has everything in one place. Tasks, briefs, summaries, user testing reports, you name it. And of course, there's a template. We have our own remote design sprint brief. That is the core document that we send out to the sprint team before starting a workshop so that everyone has a common understanding of the challenge and logistics. You can get this resource in the video description below. Numero tres, Zoom. When it comes to hosting live calls, we needed a versatile tool that could handle our communication sessions and we landed on Zoom. Zoom is a super popular tool and its wide adoption makes it really easy to use. We love the live annotation features as well as the option to record sessions. Number four, Figma. When working with a remote team of designers, Figma is the obvious choice. It allows for live collaborative prototyping and provides a seamless workflow when doing rapid iterations of your design sprints prototypes. On the plus side, it's compatible with both Mac and Windows and it allows people to work together regardless of the platform. Not to mention the huge plugin library and vast amounts of UI kits that will help you speed up your workflow. Number five, usertesting.com. If we decide to run user tests online, our go-to choice is usertesting.com. It works like a charm when you're looking for targeted audiences, but you don't have the option to run live sessions. You can watch how users interact with your prototypes, whether you want to guide them through a real-time interview or let users record their opinions by themselves. And the best part is that you can actually check the feedback on your prototypes in just a few hours. So if you want to externalize this step in your sprint, usertesting.com is a great platform to do so. Number six, Dodo plus World Time Buddy. Scheduling calls is a huge deal when running a design sprint remotely. You wanna make sure you don't schedule calls too late nor too early, and you definitely wanna take into account time zone differences. Setting up calls at 10 o'clock in the evening or at six o'clock in the morning can be quite tough. It's a hassle finding a time to schedule a meeting unless you're using this brilliant combo, World Time Buddy and Dodo. World Time Buddy is a quirky little tool that allows you to align time zones quickly and Dodo lets a group of people find the right time to meet online without exchanging hundreds of emails. That was it for part two of our Remote Design Sprints series. Have other tools in mind that could make your life easier when running design sprints? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to check out the next video where we talk about preparation. The link should be somewhere on the screen. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to find out when we launch new videos. Ciao!